Okay, this project here is an LED flashlight made out of wood. And now I'll show you uh, how it was made. Okay, now here's the uh, completed machining. You got a left and a right side, or top and bottom, depending on how you want to look at it. So next I'll uh, take this off, cut the tabs off, and sand them up a little bit. And then we can uh, go on with the next step. Okay, now here's another view of the two parts and battery will fit in here there's a little slot here for the switch and then uh, when I put them together and I bolt them together we'll stand them up in the drill press here and we'll drill three holes here for the LEDs and we'll finish up the case and uh, should be about done then. okay I made up a uh, little program to cut a hex for a 832 uh, nut and uh, then I went ahead and cut those on uh, one side and then uh, that's the one side for the two nuts and then I chamfered the other side and put uh, some one inch uh, bolts through there uh, join the two halves together then uh, I marked the end here with the three LEDs will go and uh, next I'll drill those out uh, with a 3 8 Forstner bit for a 10 millimeter LED okay now here's a shot of the LED holes drilled And uh, next thing I'll do is I'll uh, take probably a 3 16 round over bit in the router table and I'll, I'll round over these edges. <laughs>
we got uh, both sides rounded. And uh, there's a 10 millimeter LED. Gonna fit right in there. Of course, it'll be the other way around. Been in there just like so. Give you an idea. Switch goes here. Nine volt battery will go here. Basically, there's only five uh, components that'll make this up. Nine volt battery. Uh, push on, push off switch. And there'll be three LEDs resting in here. And then we'll get the case on. And that'll be the flashlight. Okay, now here's here's the uh, body. I put uh, some walnut stain on it with poly satin finish. And uh, on this one here, I got all that got it all wired up. Even made a little key top here for the switch. Uh, here's your LEDs. It's just minus from the battery to the uh, cathode of the first LED, and they're just wired in series across and then through the switch and back to the battery. Now there's no uh, resistor required seeing how that each of these LEDs is 3.6 volts. So that would be a total of 9.9 .9 volts from a 9 volt battery. And uh, since the uh, battery voltage is less than what the LEDs use, there's really no resistor required. Uh, and it works. Gives you a nice light. Let me see if I can cut off this light here. Yeah, it lights it up pretty good. So the only thing really left to do is I'm going to put some hot glue in here to kind of hold this stuff here in position. And uh, then we'll be good to go. Okay, now we got it put back together, and uh, I'll turn it on, see what it looks like in total darkness. Plenty of light to read. So... That's a success. Three nice bright LEDs. And there you go. Thank you. I hope you like it. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel.